Hi, I'm George, the Weather Dad. Take a look at your Thanksgiving travel forecast. The one thing we know for sure, it's going to be a cold week across most of the country. The question is, where, where's the precipitation going to be forming and what form will it fall in? And I'll be showing you that here in just a second. First though, let's take a look at your Tuesday temperatures and you can see cold across most of the country. Yellow reflects normal temperatures and you can see greens across the Ohio Valley, most of the Great Lakes and even very dark blues further to the north. Very cold air, Arctic air pushing its way towards the south. Even across the Gulf Coast here on Tuesday, it's going to be a little bit on the chillier side of things as well. Now as far as Wednesday is concerned, you see a little bit of a warm up there. But that's going to be short-lived again as that dark blue continues to drain out of Canada. Now by Thursday, this is Thanksgiving, you see this dark blue expanding, a lot of light green across most of the Great Lakes area. It means temperatures will be below normal. We're looking at high temperatures now probably in the, in the 40s, low temperatures probably in the lower 30s to upper 20s for uh, evening lows. Warm across the southeast, but this is where the battle line is going to be setting up. This is on your Thanksgiving day on, on Thursday. Here on Friday, that cold air continues to push its way towards the southeast, even is making its way down into the state of Florida. And then here we go on your Saturday, cold air again, very cold across most of the area. In fact, very blustery conditions up across Minnesota, Wisconsin, and the Dakotas. And you can see some dark purples up there. And you're looking at temperatures 20 to 30 degrees below normal for you there. And as we head on into your Sunday to round out your travel weekend, again, very cold across most of the area and uh, even chilly across the southeast as well. But where you see the blues, the greens, and the yellows, this is where the battleground is going to be setting up, and that is where we could have some travel problems. Precipitation-wise, here on Tuesday, big storm system there in the Rockies, California, you're getting a lot of rain too, a lot of snow. Most of the country pretty quiet with the exception of the Northeast where you're getting hit with some pretty good heavy rains as well. That's on your Tuesday. By Wednesday, the system gets itself a little bit more organized. It's going to pull its way out of the Rockies into the Central Plains. Could see a little bit of rain right here in the Ohio Valley. Now here we go on Thanksgiving. This is where it gets interesting. That storm system is going to stay down to the south. Remember, the cold air is already in place. So where the uh, this area of precipitation meets the colder air, we could be looking at a little bit of snow in this area. This is on Thanksgiving. We could be looking at some severe weather in the lower Tennessee Valley heading its way into the Appalachians, certainly along the Mid-Atlantic coast, you're going to see quite a bit of rain as well. The rest of the country is still drying out just a little bit. But again, this is where we're going to have some concern. Uh, right now, it's looking like it's going to be more in a liquid form, but we do have to keep an eye on it, especially on the northern edge of that precipitation. By Friday, that system pushes its way off the coast and up into New England. We will be looking at lake effect snows across the Great Lakes area. So if you're traveling up in this area, you're going to see some uh, quite a bit of snow the way it looks right now. By Saturday, uh, the lake effect machine continues. You know, a little pulse of energy pushes its way out of the central U.S. Once again, this is where the cold air is in place. That could be some snow. We've got to keep an eye on that. It doesn't look like anything heavy, but you don't need much to cause some travel problems. And then as we head on our way on into your Sunday, that area does push its way across the Ohio Valley. We could be looking at some snow in, in that regards. Lake effect snows continuing up into the Great Lakes as again that cold air continues to rush over the warmer waters of the Great Lakes causing that lake effect snows up there. So we could be looking at, oh, um, certainly closer to maybe a foot of snow in some areas. So if you're heading again up in that area, it's going to be a trouble. But most of us though on Sunday should be in pretty good shape from that uh, perspective. So Overall, travel isn't going to be too bad. Keep an eye on if you're heading towards the Ohio Valley, lower Ohio Valley, the Tennessee Valleys, as we could see a kind of a little bit of a mixture of some rain and snow. I'm George, the Weather Dad. Have a great travel week and a great Thanksgiving day.